astrology lovers, I'm Julia Mikos and this is my bestie Luna and we're here to deliver you your February horoscope. Luna and I do this every month because we don't have a lot of other hobbies. So subscribe so you won't miss out on any of the latest cosmic news. On the very first day of the month, we're getting a brand spanking new moon in 12 degrees Aquarius. The moon rules our mood, so in the sign of Aquarius, which represents your friends and any groups you're a part of, you might be starting a new project or social event that includes other people. This lunation also has a big wet blanket thrown over it, otherwise known as Saturn. You may feel like your effort is being thwarted by other people and that your group just kind of functions with a tyranny of the majority kind of attitude. An uncompromising square from Uranus says you might prefer to go your own way in the end. Just try not to burn any bridges on your way out. Mercury goes direct in Capricorn on the 4th. For the past few weeks, we've all been dealing with Mercury's shadiness as it's been retrograde, which brings on technical issues and annoying miscommunications. Now that Mercury is going to be moving forward, your travel plans, phone, and computer will finally start to behave. Since Capricorn is a sign that's all about ambitiously climbing up the social or professional ladder, you may have been dealing with frustrations at work because you've had to keep going back on some original strategy. Well, after the 4th, you can slowly start to make some progress at your job because you can plan ahead without any more reversals. A traveling Venus-Mars conjunction all month may help bring out your inner hoe, and it's happening in the horny sign of Capricorn. And yes, Capricorn is one of the horniest signs in the zodiac. This is a recipe for some steamy cosmic vibes all month, and it's just awesome that it's also happening on Valentine's Day. If you're single, then you could find yourself gaga over some new hottie you see, and if you're attached, then you might just enjoy being a big ol' freak with your partner. This combo is also excellent for getting the creative juices flowing or whatever juices you need to flow. And we're not here to judge you, right Luna? Hey there Capricorn! So Mercury, the planet that rules your mind, goes into your second house of money and stuff on the 15th. You'll have your mind on your money and your money on your mind this month. You could be strategizing and planning around your stuff, maybe how to take care of things better, or what else you want to buy next or even sell next. And if you have a business, you could be making plans for expansion too. You may want to spend more money this month shopping, and you also might be looking up more shopping websites or going out to more stores too. There is a super sexy conjunction between Mars and Venus that's happening all month because they're traveling so closely in the sky together. Now this conjunction is happening in your first house of self, so you're embodying this mojo. You've been looking really damn good lately, so this is the perfect time for taking lots of selfies. You've got a lot of personal magnetism, so use it wisely. There's an intensity to you this month that some people might be drawn to while other people might be trying to knock a chip off your shoulder. Don't listen to your haters because they're probably just jelly that you look better than them. Thanks for watching! Luna and I put out astrology horoscopes for you every month, so subscribe and you won't miss out on the latest cosmic news. Bye bye